welcome to the Travel Stamp Podcast. Now I'm here with a new contestant, Emma Weiss Nielsen, all the way from Denmark. She's working in the field of environmental sciences, and she's got a pretty interesting title, Music. So could you expand on how that title relates to your project? It actually says quite a lot about my project because what my project does is that it optimizes the productivity of the dairy cows by music. So, okay, how are cows and music interconnected and intertwined? It is due to a hormone called oxytocin because when you listen to music, what it basically does is that it releases more of this hormone that is essential to produce milk. Okay, so it's like it's the same biology in humans as well, and it's also called the love hormone, or I can feel yeah, a connection. Yeah, that, that is really correct, uh, which is why not only does it increase the productivity of the cows, but actually it's make, it makes them more relaxed and happy as well. Okay, so it's also a natural reproductive technology. Can you say that? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> awesome. So how did you come up with the idea? Because it sounds very unique. Yeah, it is indeed. It's actually one of the first uh, researchers on this scientific area uh, because I uh, wanted to combine my two hobbies, music and science. So I read this article about a research from 2001 and the research was on how the tempo of the music affects the productivity okay. and it was concluded that music with a slow tempo could actually optimize the productivity. So it caught my interest and I started digging deeper into it. But yeah. soon I just realized that this was everything we had in this research area. And I thought that, that couldn't possibly be true, that some other had parameters had to affect it as well. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of like the fundamental basis for my project. Awesome, it sounds real good. So uh, what were the results or your experimental settings? What was the yeah. process of getting into where you are now? Yeah, what I've done is that I have made it possible to take any desired melody in the entire world and then change the tempo of that melody and add an accompaniment to it so that when you play the entire composition for the cows the productivity is actually increased by 3.8 percent which means that if we take Denmark as an example we would be able to produce the same amount of work with 24,000 less cows which means a reduction of 2.6 million kilograms of methane emissions. Yeah, as that contributes to global warming and change. Yeah, change. Yeah. Awesome. So it's also helping the environment in great measurements. Like you wouldn't think, like, okay, 3.8% is a lot because we know like in data measurements, but when you can visualize it with that um, explanation, it totally makes sense. How has been your judging experience like at uses? It's been really interesting. It's been such an amazing opportunity to talk to, talk to all those judges who are actually interested in their projects. They've read your reports and they're here to discuss it with you. That's an amazing honor. Yes, absolutely. And how are you enjoying these um, international engagements and championships? What do you like yeah. about them? I think it's so cool not only to get to talk about your own projects but to experience the excitement of all the others and feel the amazing projects that's so cool I think and we have projects I think 150 projects overall from various fields and it's truly a unique experience to be amongst these young scientists. So um, for the end to wrap up, I know you've been invested in science a lot, but what would your message be to young researchers who want to start digging deeper into this field? Just just begin, throw yourself out in it. It's, it's going to succeed somehow. You can't you can't expect what the results is going to be, but if you don't try, you won't get any results. It's an amazing opportunity. Just go for it. Yes, absolutely, and reach for the stars. Um, and how do you envision the project develop in the future? Um, do you envision it to implement it in Denmark and then other countries as well? Yeah, um, I hope for it to be implemented. I've, I've actually been working on solutions as well for implementation mm -hmm. uh, so that it will be very fast and very easy to actually play music while milking. This sounds incredible and we cannot wait to uh, see the results and you know, uh, see you appear in the news with your newest invention and thank you for giving me this interview and also expanding on your projects to the listeners. Thank you too. Hello, hello. I'm checking in again with the results. 
Emma won the European Food and Drink Industry Prize of 2,000 euros awarded by Food Drink Europe. Congratulations to her! It is true that we have the visuals, but the episodes in audio form are also available on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Follow the podcast on the gram, and as always, thank you for taking a few moments of science with us.